Hello everyone, Arjunum Spartus here. Uh, first off, I'd like to thank uh, A.G. Randall for holding his giveaway a while back. I know it's been a while, I just haven't had a chance to get a video up. Uh, but I won uh, his channel logo piece. Very happy to win that. There's the penny, how oh, he did the drawing. Very nice bags, I really like these. And here's his little logo bar. Very nice little piece. So I do want to thank him for this. And if you haven't had a chance, uh, go and check out his channel. And I also picked up recently the... Uh, from Pet Bullion. I just got this the other day. There's the COA. <clears throat> but I got the, uh, excuse me, got the uh, Metals Mafia 2 ounce logo bar. I really like the stamp on this. He did a fantastic job pouring these beautiful pour lines. I received number 28. And there was 50 of these made. So you got a very nice piece. And I've also poured a couple pieces myself lately. Uh, I made this for my wife. Uh, just a little cast heart. Got a nice texture to it. I stamped it up for her. I didn't put my stamp or anything on it. But yeah, very nice little concave style to art. And that weighs, I, th I believe, about 21, 22 grams. Something like that. And I also poured... A 3.2 troy ounce bar. Really like this piece. Nice size bar. It's got my Oribe stamp on the front. Nice and thick. I don't know what I was thinking. I meant to put the 3.2 over there so I could put OZT, but. I think it's all right. I'm still really new to pouring, so I think I'm doing okay. But if anybody has any tips, suggestions, please let me know. Everything helps. And I just poured this right before I made the video. I really like this. This is my uh, vintage style moose round. It's uh, 2.4 ounces. Really like this piece. Turned out way better than I expected. I haven't had a chance to stamp it yet. Like I said, I ju literally just finished it. Got a very nice back on it. But yeah, let me know what you think about these pieces. I, I'm really liking these. It's got a nice look to it. I think if I did sit, what, maybe some antiquing? Give it an antique finish? I think that might be nice. But yeah, just let me know what you think about that. And I've also had some pickups lately. I picked this up for dirt cheap, way under spot. It's a uh, 2015 Australian Funnel Web Spider. Everybody's seen these. And I also picked up the uh, 1 ounce 2017. Britannia 
20 year privy edition beautiful coins I love the Britannias sorry about the lighting in here it's not the greatest tonight And I've been working on the uh, Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse series. Um, here's the Black Horse of Famine. This is my most recent pickup. I still need to get Death. I'd have to say this is my least favorite out of the series, but... Still pretty nice. Then I got the Red Horse of War. And I've been using capsules with the uh, foam insert there to match the collar of the horse. I'm not exactly positive what I'm going to do for the Pell Horse of Death. So if anybody has any suggestions whatsoever, please let me know in the comments. Here's the White Horse of Conquest. And I also picked up a 2014 half ounce Australian Great White Shark. I need to get a capsule for these. Got a really good deal on this the other day. And I had the uh, 2015 half ounce hammerhead. And then finally, the third of the series, the 2016 Tiger Shark. I think this has, I think this one would be my favorite out of this series. I really like the coral and stuff down here at the bottom. But yeah, that's a really nice little set there. But, yeah, that's all I have to show for right now. I do have some more stuff that I need to get caught up on. Uh, but, yeah, please, like I said, please let me know what you think about these. It's got a nice relief, a high relief to it. Show off this little beauty one more time. Pet Bullion did an amazing job on these. And if you haven't checked out his channel, you might want to do that also. And stop by Metals Mafia. Fantastic site. But I don't want to run this video too long. So let me know what you think. Please like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for watching. Hopefully it doesn't take me as long as it did this time to get my next video up. And thank you for watching. Have a great day.